Please. Mm. I want to bring in uh, Chris Dingman now. He's a friend of Riley's uh, family. Chris, thank you for being with us once again. Um, I, I, I can't even imagine um, what they're going through. Uh, I know you're you're in the house with them right now. I just hope that the support from the country and really the world, I mean, this story touched so many people. I hope that that's at least helping them a little bit right now. 100%. Um, I'm actually literally straight above them and the family's downstairs in the living room. Uh, the the airboat captains, United Cajun Navy, the everybody else that showed up in airboats, a lot of the families. It's just kind of a fellowship tonight in the house. And, and I'll be honest with you, I, I went to the candlelight vigil tonight. It was phenomenal having people there talking. Exactly what you said, you know, I drove six hours to come and look for Riley. I, I, I've been following it every week, you know, every day. I wake up in the morning to see what's posted. And to hear the conversations uh, that's going on downstairs right now to where the family can can breathe, um, have normal conversations without just tears erupting. And, and you're looking at Michelle and you start crying and mm. everybody's crying. And uh, there's a long road ahead of us. Uh, we are so blessed of all the help and support that everybody has provided for Riley. Uh, Michelle gets to take Riley home. There's unfortunately a lot of people in this world that don't have that opportunity. It is not what we were wanting. We were praying for everybody. You know, the world needs a win right now. It, mm. It's so chaotic. I think that's why everybody was so invested in Riley. He checked all the boxes. It wasn't the family saying he was a great kid. Every time you reached out, didn't matter who you reached out to, they had a great positive story about him. Yeah. And the world needed a win. Uh, we didn't get it, but we did. We, we have Riley. Uh, his mother gets to take him home, have a, a proper burial with him, and she'll get to go visit her son from time to time when she needs him. You yeah, know? I know. And we yeah. all need him. And I know there's no real closure in a situation like this, but I'm glad that she's able to take him home. I, I think that obviously goes a long way, um, and I'm glad she's getting a lot of support right now. And, and I think his personality and light came through in all these stories and pictures, how close he was to his mom. I think that's why people felt this connection to the story. Have police, Chris, been able to provide um, any more information about what happened? I mean, obviously, we know that, that he was found, but do we have any more details? Where we're at right now is, you know, he was unfortunately, you know, Fortunately and unfortunately, he was found underneath the barge this morning, uh, an area which, ironically, Ryan, his dad, and one of the searchers on the boat last night had put a ping in uh, to bring the dogs back this morning to look at it. They thought there may have been something. There was nothing positive. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so they were kind of on to something. Uh, the police did mention to us uh, in private that there were a few more individuals. You know, at the moment, this is just a horrible accident. Uh, but the police do have a few more people they're wanting to talk to that may have physically been there that saw what happened to Riley, may have not had a part of it, but may put together the, the last pieces that we need of this puzzle. We're, we're there. We've got five or six pieces left that the police are currently working on, and we hope to have those answers soon. Yeah, and maybe, you know, other college kids watching or just anyone can learn something from the situation. And I'm not pointing fingers because I can remember being in college and drinking too much and walking home alone and sometimes maybe not even knowing how I got home and sometimes my friends also leaving a bar and I should have gone with them, but I didn't. But I think this just shows all of us, um, you know, the danger, the dangers that, that that's out there when, when people are just sort of set free in a situation like that. You know, I'd, I'd had the conversation with Riley, and one of the little things I took is I told all the boys, I said, uh, and I've had a lot of them, I've had the privilege of being in their life, and I said, when you go to a big city, put your billfold in your front pocket. I said, because when you're out dancing, you may not realize it, and that billfold may go disappearing, but if you put your billfold in your front pocket, you know, it's going to be a lot harder. And in that picture of him and the boys outside before they went into the bars and stuff, uh, Chris actually made the comment to me, and he goes, see, he was listening to you. And I go, what are you talking about? And he goes, look in the picture. His billfold's in his front pocket. Mm. And, you know, it's little things like that that, that we're going to have forever. I've got some family pictures we're going to post up in honor of Riley tomorrow. And, and, and kids uh, and adults and parents, if I can tell you something right now from all the wild stuff that we've been through in the last two weeks, Make sure your children have somebody that has a password to their social medias and mm. their accounts. Whether you, you put it in a safe deposit box, 
you know, I understand you need to have their space, but this could have saved us a lot of time uh, that we waited on warrants, et cetera, to get answers, to get this started. And, you know, please, you know, please have multiple people that have access to those opportunities because it literally could change the dynamics of somebody trying to find you, somebody trying to help you, somebody trying to rescue yeah. you. you yeah, know, that, that's let a them, good point. Let somebody know. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.